A good day to correct some false teaching and lies that you've been told while sitting in church or even watching movies, um, reading books. Moses, chosen by God, given the Ten Commandments, most of the laws are based on that today. Even your constitution in America is, some of it is based on the Ten Commandments. Moses, born in Africa, raised by Africans, Moses was a Hebrew. They love to keep us at war with each other. Moses had a hard job to civilize the Caucasian from the hills and cave sides of Europe. He did have another assignment after he got them up in Egypt, but not with them. You know, our lessons teach us that we rounded up all that we could find. And stripped from them everything except the language and drove them into the caves of Europe. Across the burning sand. Yes, sir. So today, you want to join AKA or Delta, Sigma, Omega, Alpha, you got to do what? Cross what? Burning sand. Where did that come from? You have been talking about your brother Moses, slandering that he's marrying outside of his culture. That is a sin. He said, so for your punishment, I'm going to strike you with leprosy and whiteness. Belonging to Israel, white people. And all these rich white people in Malibu, what white cops have done to black people. So if this doesn't stop, I would love black cops to start doing the same thing to white people. I respect And that. I was born white. But the white race is sick because the reason that I'm here is because white people stole this f***ing continent from the Indians and enslaved people from Africa. The reason a black person is here is not because they stole the land. They were brought here against their will. So if I'm black, I tell people, I'm legal. White boy, you are illegal. Don't you dare tell a Mexican that they're illegal because I got more Indian blood than you do. So go back to Scotland, Trump, you son of a... <laughs> so that's how I feel. I respect it and I love and it. And I can't I say how I really feel because I do not want the FBI to take me to prison. You want to become a Mason? Let's try enough. But you got to cross the burning sand. Where did it come from? It came from your ancestors driving them out of the Holy Land into the hills and cave sides of Europe. But then the scripture says the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. Well, how did fair get in there? When all that area was black, talk to me tonight. There were no white people in Palestine, in Saudi Arabia, in Iraq. All of that was black people. The original people but race mixing began yes, sir. and then the blacks were moved out when I was in Palestine or what you call Israel today as a guest 
of our Hebrew Israelite brothers in Demona. Some of their scholars took me to Jerusalem and we went down to Jericho and I saw a man riding on a donkey. He was very, very black. I could not speak his language, but our Hebrew Israelite brothers spoke to him in Hebrew. And uh, I asked the brother, ask him, how long has he been here on this land? He said, as far back as he can remember, he and his fathers and their fathers before them, they have always been on that land. Saudi Arabia. Saud comes from the word Aswad, which means Black Arabia. How did it get white? Egypt! There's a profound difference between Kemet and Egypt. Egypt is a Greek word that was used to describe one temple in Kemet. And so Kemet was ruled by indigenous African people. Egypt was ruled by Greeks for approximately 600 years. So if you look at that image uh, on the screen, you can see nine African rulers of Kemet and three European rulers of Egypt. If you read what the Greeks said, not what we think, but if you read what the Greeks said, they got everything from Egypt. They got all their knowledge from Egypt. This is amazing. Where? Thank you.